this game, Death Trader Cold War, where you get exactly what you see here. So, this is an early access game in a state of what I would call way too early access, but there is enough fun here, so we can go ahead and get going. You play as an independent arms dealer during the Cold War. That is still way too loud. Okay, let me change that. Don't know how loud it is for you, but that's too loud for me, and that's going to distract the shit out of me. So, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, skip the tutorial, because there's barely anything here. Okay, we start off in, in France, which is a single airplane. And you have con. You, you buy uh, you buy arms uh, in mostly the European countries. France, there's a couple in a couple other places. And you have then you have these conflict zones, which these are all historical conflicts. You can you can stop and do a research. About the intent. So, and the, each side will have uh, preferred weapons. Anyway, so we're going to load our plane, we're going to uh, head, to, head to Israel. Play is an independent uh, illegal arms dealer. So we'll go ahead and get some of these. And 20k, how much can we cram? You can actually cram a lot of a lot of uh, merchandise into your into your transport plane. So, head down to Sudan. I'm not too sure what this uh, number here is. It's probably probably not implemented, but we'll go to a reasonable price and just dump everything on the market. Okay, so we made about seven thousand. Now we need to plan our next move. We could run and do that same thing again. 1970s Chinese. So that's our move there. Send our plane to China. That's what we can do. Now you can't actually affect affect the outcome of the wars. Not gonna make that much profit on this one. But whatever. Army <laughs> Civil War. British assault rifle. British machine gun. Begs the question: Who, we, who exactly is using British guns? goal right now is to get to about 70,000 so we can get a ship. That's when the game really picks up. Okay, and you want to go... You want to get out of selling rifles as soon as you can. To um, machine guns and grenade launchers. That's when the, that's when the uh, money starts rolling in. You gotta, you gotta get those blood shackles. Okay, you can get a bit, much better price here. Take this down to about fifty-five. Again, I think there's a lot of, a uh, lot of uh, game mechanics that are, aren't implemented yet. This game does seem very easy. So yeah, we got 40,000 there. Nation Civil War, US machine gun. Uh, that's it, wow. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna head to Belgium. 
show you one of the uh, secrets of the uh, So one, you can invest in the uh, and improve your uh, relations with the ver military of various countries. And so I'm gonna spend 10k here, and we got the uh, Belgian grenade launcher, which I do not do not have the foggiest idea what weapon this is. These are all uh, for some reason the people really lo really seem to love them. So let's grab just grab a. Uh, 700 of those. And you want to get into, get into the machine guns and grenade launcher business as soon as possible. And back the shit on. Can I get... No, um, much better deals here, so we can get a, actually a very good price. that down to about 90 I think yeah I think there's like events in that or that aren't implemented yet this game is yeah so yeah, we just made a huge okay let's head to the US he likes the King of Laos some reason likes U.S. weapons. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, it's worth spending 10k at this point. I think it is. I'd get that. Uh, grab a. Um, you want to be careful not to overspend here. The game only have about a third of our cargo plane actually filled up here. Yeah. Okay. And I know there are guys who are going to be able to identify every single one of these weapons. Um, I just do not possess that level of autism. Almost to the point where we can get a ship. That's when. That's when the uh, money really starts rolling. In. The other mechanic here is you have you said you can uh, spend money to basically bribe and reduce the attention of secret services. Once the number gets over a hundred, uh, you can't buy you can't buy we any more weapons because well they're kind of onto you. Yeah, so we're probably not going to be able to buy, buy anything from Belgium for a while. Uh, can I get? Let's get a couple. Of Five hundred down. Oh, we're gonna make a fortune on this one. Recent deal, so yeah, they don't have any money on right now. Okay, um, over 
in the country. I love the rest of the guns. Over to US. Small bulk carrier, medium sized cargo ship. It has a lot of cargo though. A cargo ship, so. Are you going? You want to boost US? Hmm. Okay, let's buy some APCs. How much can we? Now there are some conflicts that you cannot get to by ship. So you do need to use the airplane for that, for them. Okay. That's a Bren gun. Even I know that one. New conflict that we're for just self case. Okay, we'll go look into that. <laughs> Probably Congo versus self case. I they like um, Belgian French guns, French armored cars. Rebels like those grenade launchers, which we sell. Definitely good. For also, French machine guns. Off the, so, looks like we're heading the, back to Waffle Land. Okay. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and sell the... Uh, oh yeah, we're going to make a fortune on this. But well, no, it does beg the question, um, how exactly... Congo becomes in I don't know if that has any that's what the war is actually so yeah okay. and these all these are all historical wars you can research them just remember that the uh, communists always lie so there is that certain um... you do need to take a uh, modern Okay, um, go ahead and pay that down. Uh, we don't, we have the money, so let's spend it. Let's go. Uh, oh, it's, oh, there's a second. You know what? I think we're gonna support the rebels Just for now. For... No. 
Oh, you can, you can. Oh, okay, so you can get to that. Okay, shoot. Just have to go take the long road. Okay. about it. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to call that a episode here. Um, the game does see, does, I have played about a year or two in. The game does pick up a bit. It's, it does get a bit more complicated as you have to do, Cap. You do have to really keep up your relations with, you know, just the uh, Pay your bribes. But other than that, this, uh, there does seem to be quite a bit of uh, gameplay not implemented. The game does not seem to have much of an opposition or a challenge factor. Uh, so, we'll see how that develops. This would be a great multiplayer game. Um, I don't know how you would work that out, but, you know. There's a lot of potential here, so I don't believe... I don't, I would say I'm satisfied with this purchase, but in current state, I don't know if I can recommend the game, but do keep an eye out for this one. Anyway, so Wolf went out. Um, yeah. Definitely uh, very refreshing to have a game that's, that does have the potential to be a little bit weak rack, but I think important to note that 19th Cold War's politics is not current year politics. Again, these are all historical conflicts. You can research them. Just, you know. Keep in mind what your sources are. Anyway, Wolfman out. Day Asphalt.